Don't. Big bank tight, low buy, buy. Big new sight. The type of money you gon' need to buy. From the hood, this type of money make you stay away. What's up, angels? Welcome back on another video. And for today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I lost 24, yeah, 24 pounds in two months. Um, if I look tired, it's because this video is. It's because I'm making this video, it's literally about to be 1 o'clock in the morning. But I look nice, so I was like, I'm going to just make this video right now because I don't know when the next time I'm going to do my makeup is. I'm going to be telling you guys how I gained my weight and how I lost it. And like pretty much the whole thing, so let's just get into the video. So pretty much, I am a teen mom. I had my daughter. I got pregnant when I was 16, but before I was 16, I had a really nice body in my opinion. Like I had a flat stomach. I had a nice butt, I had nice boobs, and my my legs were nice, everything was nice. Everything that I wanted in a body I had that I felt comfortable, I felt comfortable in my own body and I really liked it. So obviously I got pregnant at 16, my body wasn't ready for that, my body I wasn't supposed to get pregnant at that young of an age, but I did, so I got pregnant and throughout my pregnancy. I ate whatever I wanted because I thought everything was going to the baby. Obviously it was, but I didn't think about after like how my body was going to react. All the weight, all the stuff that I ate, I didn't think like, oh, I'm a, I thought I was going to lose it after I had my daughter. That wasn't the case. Um, after I had my daughter, I gained so much weight. I was the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life. I ended up being 188 or no, I was 190 after I had her. I was 190 after I had her. And then most of it was like the weight after you just have a baby, you know, you're really like bloated, you're really big because it's all ba like baby fat. So then I dropped down to 180, so I lost 10 pounds and then I gained it back and I went to 188 and that is the he like besides me just having her, 188 was the heaviest I've ever been in my life. I was just eating whatever I wanted. I went through depression after I had my daughter. I was really depressed, so I was just eating and eating and eating. I was, and I'm a bored eater, so, so that's pretty much what I was doing. I was just eating so bad. I was eating Wingstop every day. I was eating Hot Cheetos every day, eating whatever I wanted because I did not care. And that was really bad, so I never really got on a scale. I would always just look at my body and be like, ill. Like, I hated the way I looked. I did not like the way I looked. So I would just look and I'd be like, ill, and I would just ignore it. I wouldn't really look in the mirror. I would not try to. And then my mom got a new scale, so I stepped on it. When I saw how heavy I was, I was like, what? Like, I've never had a problem with my body because I was always in cheer. I was always doing something to make sure that I never gained weight. So I was always, like, fine with my weight. But when I stepped on the scale, I saw that I was the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life. I was 188, and I was like, this can't happen. Like, I can't be this heavy. Like, no, like, why am I this heavy? But I blamed, obviously, I have nothing but to blame myself. I blame myself, and I was like, I need to change the way I am because I can't be this heavy. I felt so grossed out. I wanted to cry because I saw the way, how heavy I was, and I was like, this isn't okay. Like, I'm only 17. I should not be weighing this much so for one week i went to the gym straight and i was going every day and i was like okay like i'm gonna lose weight after this week like i'm gonna lose at least like five pounds ten pounds like i've been going to the gym every day it's good i at the end of the week i stepped on the scale and i only lost one pound that at that point i had no more motivation to go to the gym i was like the gym isn't working I don't know what else to do but when I went to the gym for that one week I was still eating bad so obviously if I'm still eating bad I'm not gonna lose weight so I was still eating bad so when I saw that I only lost one pound I stopped going I stopped going kept eating whatever I wanted and I stayed at 188 I didn't get any bigger than that I was 188 I went and I kind of ignored my weight I didn't step on a scale anymore and then I started talking to this guy and he was really into the gym. He was really into fitness and I would always tell him, oh, the guy I'm talking to now, the guy I'm talking to now if you're watching this, but I would always tell him like, I hate my body. I hate the way I look, but I would still eat junk food. I didn't go to the gym and he was like, get a gym membership. And I was like, 
no, because I know I'm not going to go. Like, I have no motivation. He was like, I'll motivate you. He was like, I'll make sure you go to the gym and you need to start eating healthier. He's like, you can have a cheat day every week, like once a, once a day. Out of the week, you can, have, you can have a cheat day. But other than that, no, like you, like you need to start eating healthier. You need to start going to the gym if you want to lose weight. You can't keep being lazy and you can't keep eating bad because if you do, you're not going to lose weight. So I was like, dang like you're right like i keep complaining about my body but i'm not doing anything about it so that was in november november 1st is the day i got a gym membership on november 1st i started going to the gym every day i was going to the gym every day but in the beginning my eating habits were still the same i didn't i tried going on a diet for like a day or no for a week i tried going on a diet and then I, after a week, I realized there was no change again. So I told him, I was like, the gym isn't working for me. Like, you said it was going to help. It's not helping. He was like, you're still eating unhealthy. And I'm telling you, you got to eat healthy or else it's not going to work. And I was like, all right, I'm going to change. Like, I had to change. So the first month, I think I lost five pounds. And I told myself that I can't give up after a week of not seeing any progress like losing weight is gonna take years and years and years it's not just gonna happen in a week and i'm not gonna lose like 100 pounds in a week you know like that's not how it works i need to keep going and i need to start eating healthier so from november to january we're in january right now um i've lost 24 pounds and it's crazy and i'm gonna tell you guys how i've been losing weight is I'm so into this gym stuff like it's so crazy to think about how I am now and how I was two months ago because I was so different two months ago I was eating whatever I wanted never went to the gym nothing I was so unhealthy and I did everything I could to pretty much gain weight I was gaining weight myself how I lost weight is I pretty much I'm not on a diet but I'm eating healthy to the point where now that if I eat junk food I feel so sick and I feel so grossed out that I don't even want to eat junk food anymore. So I started eating healthy. I cut out carbs. So I don't eat rice. I don't eat beans. I don't eat bread. I don't eat pretty much anything that's carbs. Only once in a while when I have a cheat day or when I pretty much am like craving like Chipotle or something, they have rice and beans in there. I will eat that, but I limit my carbs. So if you can't cut out carbs completely, at least limit it so you don't because carbs do make you gain a lot of weight especially bread bread makes you gain so much weight so once i started cutting out carbs seeing a a big change in my body like in my weight i've noticed that once i cut out carbs i started losing weight quicker than i thought and it's not like if you cut out carbs you're gonna lose weight like you need to work out i go to the gym every single day so that's another way how i lost weight i go to the gym every day um i go for about an hour to an hour and a half every single day do cardio if you guys want to lose weight do cardio cardio is the number one way to lose belly fat and i promise you you guys will lose weight if you just if you do cardio don't just do cardio like obviously do other workouts but cardio is a, a number one way to lose weight so run jump rope it doesn't have to be running you don't always have to run you can jump rope you can do other ways that are cardio to lose weight so if you hate running like i do well, I used to. Now I don't mind it because I've been doing it for like two months now. Do cardio to lose weight. So pretty much when I go to the gym, I do two miles every single day. So that's another way how I lost so much weight is I did two miles every single day. And I've been doing cardio. It's been working so good. So I know this video is kind of everywhere. I'm just kind of naming things out. But the two things so far that I've named out is I've cut out carbs and i go to the gym every day so yes i do go to the gym i haven't just lost weight because i just started eating healthy like i do go to the gym another way is i do eat healthy like i don't i didn't just cut out carbs um i try going keto i'm not fully keto but i am kind of like half keto like i know what you're not supposed to eat when you're on keto so i try to avoid those foods like now i don't eat bananas i don't eat apples i don't eat like pretty much things that you don't eat in keto because there's so much sugar try to limit your sugar amount because sugar does so much to your body like it makes you gain so much weight sugar and salt makes you gain so much weight that it's just not good like you shouldn't even 
like weight that is so unnecessary so i cut out juices i cut out sodas i cut out anything that has sugar in it so pretty much mostly all i drink is water and coffee and green tea water coffee and green tea is all that i drink besides on cheat days i'll have like boba or like horchata or something like that only on cheat days but every other day of the week i don't drink anything else besides water green tea or coffee the only things i will drink so no more juices no more sodas nothing like that because that makes you gain so much weight the next thing is drink a lot of water i know if you guys watch weight loss videos they tell you all the time to drink a lot of water it is so true if you drink a lot of water you guys will just like it, it's just really good for your body and it'll really help you with your weight loss because water is a big part in losing weight too so make sure you drink water another thing is i watch i limit my calories so i watch how many calories i i eat i have this app called my fitness plan and you guys should really get it if you guys want to start losing weight if you guys don't think you guys can go to the gym get this app it's called my fitness plan which it helps you track how many calories you eat a day so in the beginning of it you put in how much you weigh how much you want to weigh your birthday your, how your height so they know everything how active you are so then they can tell you how much calories you need to eat in a day so in there even if you watch your calories the app will still tell you like you need to limit you pretty much watch your macros so you need to watch how much sugar intake you have how much carbs how much fat all that stuff how much protein because if you watch your macros there will be a significant amount of change so that's pretty much what i do i'm not on a diet but i don't eat unhealthy like you will not see me eat unhealthy only on cheat days and i keep saying only on cheat days because i know you guys see on my snap that i will eat like a sushi burrito or i will eat like stuff like i'll have boba stuff that obviously isn't healthy because those are my cheat days i have one cheat day a week and sometimes i don't even cheat the whole day i'll cheat half a day and i'll drink like one boba a day and i and i call that a cheat day so pretty much those are the things that i've been doing to lose weight and another thing is that drink you guys saw in my um my weight loss journey video i did apple cider vinegar for a whole week and i did lose weight i was gonna make a video on it but i lost all my clips so i'm just gonna edit in here for a whole week i was drinking apple cider vinegar cayenne pepper with lemon and honey so on my drink, um, maybe in another vlog, in like another gym vlog, I will put how I make it. But apple cider vinegar, you guys should really try it. It does make you lose weight really good. So apple cider vinegar was another way of how I've been losing weight. All this stuff like that, I drink green tea, non unsweetened green tea or black tea. I don't really do black tea, but you can do either black tea or unsweetened green tea. 30 minutes before you work out and if you do that you burn more calories and the last thing i do is i do intermittent fasting if you guys don't know what that is i don't eat breakfast or anything and the only times i eat are from 12 to 8 every single day so i don't eat until 12 p.m and then i stop eating at 8 p.m because if you eat past 8 p.m that is so bad for your body because that's the time your body should stop eating in general even if you aren't fasting 8 o'clock is a time where you should stop eating so if you were eating past 8 really recommend stopping that because that is not good for your body it's really bad so that's another thing I do intermittent fasting so I only eat from 12 to 8 it's a 16 hour fasting so that's why I only eat from 12 to 8 those are the things that I've been doing to lose weight I know it might sound like a lot but to me my body is so used to it I'm so used to doing all those things that I honestly love it I love eating healthy I love going to the gym i'm really into this fitness thing if you guys don't believe me i mean you guys don't have to but i've been doing it for like a couple months now and it's honestly life-changing and i really enjoy going to the gym and eating healthy and i'd rather eat healthy than eat junk food it just feels so much better for my body so i'm gonna name the things that i did again because i know this video is everywhere i have been doing intermittent fasting so eating from 12 to 8 i've been watching how i ate so no more junk food none of that no more mcdonald's no more taco bell no more chick-fil-a no more wing stuff no more in and out none of that i don't eat any of that anymore only on cheat days um i don't eat any more carbs i don't eat any more carbs i did the apple cider vinegar i have been working out every day um i don't really remember what else but yeah so pretty much that is how 
I lost 24 pounds in too much. It might sound like a lot, but trust me guys, if you guys do at least one of these, you guys most likely will see change if you guys don't. Try to go to the gym. If you guys can't go to the gym, at least go for a walk every day. Go walk for a mile at least. Get my fitness pal, watch your calories, watch your macros, all stuff like that, you guys. If you really want to lose weight, make a change. Don't just say, I want to lose weight and expect it to happen. You guys have to actually go out and do it, you guys. If you guys don't want to work out, go walk. If you guys don't want to go walk, watch your calories. Start eating healthy. There's little things you guys can do to start losing weight. You guys should really start. And you guys will just see a change. I see a change. Um, you guys all see a change on how I look and I feel really good about my body. I'm going to continue to work out and I'm going to continue to eat healthy and this is just my life now and it's kind of amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the how I lost 24 pounds pretty much after I had a baby and I hope this helps you guys out a little bit at least on starting your weight loss journey if you guys do want to start. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys dig this video with thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for my other videos with me and my daughter. And stay tuned for my weight loss journey. And yeah, anyways, bye.